Spice Most Read Fashion Magazines. In the classical world of fashion, a common rhetoric would be a dazzling synchronization of words into pictures and poses, but in this era of anti-folks wokeness, fashion magazines means more than words on paper, it's an evolution. On today's episode of Spice Most, get thrilled with a selection of lists of the most read magazines in the world of fashion. Hi, I'm Teminiko. I'm a model, I'm a fashion and lifestyle influencer and also a content creator in Lagos. Hi guys, my name is Princess Onyejekwe. I am a fashion and beauty entrepreneur and I'm here live with you on Spice Wars. Hello guys, my name is Angel Abasi. I am popularly known as Style Connoisseur on Instagram. I own a content production company and I'm the owner of Anchel, an accessory label, and this is Spice Most. How would you describe your year so far? Um, currently, I have um, a, something to do with a hair care business. Uh, I'm supposed to like be representing them in Nigeria as their face slash ambassador. So that's coming up like really soon. Oh, my year so far. Oh my God. Intense <laughs> and exciting and just it's like a euphoric moments I've had, several several euphoric moments I've had this year, but it's been amazing and intense. <laughs> this year has been a, a roller coaster. Uh, definitely when I did my Happy New Year vows, I didn't think I was going back on TV. So that came as a shocker, but it's been beautiful. What project are you currently working on? Right now I'm working on expanding my fashion and beauty business. As you know, I do own two businesses, Prima Donna Beauty and Fashion Addict, and we're looking at greater heights. Um, I already launched my biggest project this year, my personal biggest project this year. But um, so right now I'm looking at how we can get the business. So I launched Anchea, my hat company this year. <laughs> so I'm looking at how we can do a lot more for the holidays coming forward. So that's my biggest, most important project for the year right now. How has your brand impacted the media space in Nigeria? It is kind of like for like a better front and like a very good representation for models and for people to actually see modeling as a proper like profession and not just something that you do like, an, like a hobby. So yes, putting modeling out there as a profession. Well, it is very evident having gone back on the show and come out again, you know, a lot of people expect that I would probably back down or disappear, but I am a living witness that you can have it all, be beautiful, have a life, earn a living and, you know, stay happy. Um, I would say, interestingly, this year I was on business of fashion list of the most influential people in Nigeria, in the fa influential fashion people in Nigeria. So personally, I think that's huge because that means that in the fashion industry, they are looking for really, in really important people in fashion. They're going to for me and a bunch of my colleagues, which was very, very amazing. And I think that personally, it's also helped a lot of influencers look up to if you are in the industry for a lengthy period of time, and if you do the hard work, you're going to go very far and you're going to get recognition from both local and international media. So, yeah. In a word, describe the print for fashion scene in Nigeria. Personally, right now, I don't think that we have a very solid print for fashion um, seen in Nigeria. I think that a lot of things have gone digital, so obviously it's up, it's it's difficult for all of the prints to stay in business, which makes sense because everybody's using it on their phones, everybody checks things on their phones, so everybody's really transitioning into digital right now. So I would say that it's basically non-existent at the moment. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, how has controversy sparked readability in the Nigerian press industry? A scale of 1 to 10, I would say 9. I would say nine, because without controversy, there won't be like um, conversations, basically. Controversy brings about things to discuss and things to trend and so on and so forth. Obviously, controversy is what the world is about post COVID, because I mean, a lot of people feel like um, if you don't have some sort of negative publicity, then they wouldn't be making headlines. I do not subscribe to negative publicity, but it has definitely impacted our world today. Give an advice to upcoming stars in your industry. Oh my God, I always say this, and I will continue to say this, hard work will always, always, always be talent when talent doesn't work hard. Like you can do all, you can be as talented as possible if you're not willing to put it in the work. 
nothing i would say don't give up like no matter how much the job can be depressing disappointments the no's don't give up there will always be a yes later upcoming star i would say take your time um, make sure that you're grounded in what you do learn a skill and a living and you know the sky is just your starting point genevieve magazine Seeing fashion through the lens of Genevieve magazine is like munching on a bowl of ice cream sundays after a hectic traffic in Lagos. Genevieve is lovely. Um, that's Nigerian owned. Um, subscribes to probably a bit older content, but they're also very, very assertive. With the vision to tell pretty Nigerian fashion stories, Genevieve magazine is one of the fashion magazines telling the Nigerian stories the way it should be told, with finesse. Indifferent. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't get what, I don't know. But indifferent. Let me just say I'm, I'm a six over 10 on it. La Mode Magazine. There is nothing as soothing like reading a fashion article from La Mode. Its method of delivery, striking attention to details and relaxing foundation mix of a smothering Nigerian story and its relation to fashion and culture. La Mode, uh, Nigeria's very own trendsetter. I love La Mode. <laughs> Uh, not as popular as I would like, but they give good content, but it's not out there the way they should be out there. I feel like they need more presence. Crushing over this Cool Read magazine, stay locked. My name is Angel Abasi, I am a style influencer. Thank you for watching Spice News. Okay guys, it's been a pleasure. Again, I am Princess, fashion and beauty entrepreneur. The name is Timmy once again, and I'm a model, a fashion and lifestyle influencer and content creator in Lagos. And it's been the most amazing time in Spice News. I know it's sad, I know, but it has to come to an end on today's Spice Most. Too cool to let us go? Stay woke on our 24-7 website, www.myspice.tv. Until next time, stay fetch.